And <clears throat> that sort of creates this other issues that we have in the West where it's like, I mean, in the South, it's fairly easy. It's like you have your African-American, mostly enslaved population until the end of slavery and you have your white free population. But in the West, you have your Hispanic population, you have your native population, you have the mixing of the races. It's, it seems like such a, especially from a Southern perspective, a Southern migrants to this region, it, it seems like almost like a nightmare scenario for them to be operating in uh, racially. Yeah, I mean, the, the American Southwest is a really thick ethnic stew um, and uh, there, there really wasn't a more diverse state in the union than California. So on the one hand, yeah, maybe it was profoundly disconcerting to some white Southerners. On the other hand, if you're a white supremacist looking for scapegoats and looking for targets, you've got a number of them. Um, you have Chinese immigrants, you have, you know, people of Hispanic ancestry, you have a small African American population, obviously you have a, a large but rapidly declining native population, which was the target of a genocidal war, or a series of genocidal wars. Right. And it's, it's sort of, because, you, I mean, you, we, we have that kind of, I mean, I like your idea of kind of the diversity there, but um, I think on the other hand, it's almost a powder keg, keg too that we're dealing with because, and this sort of goes in the other direction that we know about the attacks of um, whites against Chinese laborers. But how much then does Hispanics also and African Americans in the West suffer from, from violence and vigilante justice? Yeah, the sad thing is we're never going to know the full extent of it because so much was done far from the public eye and far from law enforcement and hell if it was done in front of law enforcement they may not have cared so much um you know the the far west was a profoundly dangerous place for well maybe to a certain extent for everybody but especially for non-white people yeah and it's sort of let me see um um this interesting question that i kind of was thinking about because you do have a few indications of like lynchings that are taking place that we do know about that are not not about African Americans, but actually go against um, the Latino population. And it's sort of raised an interesting paradox, I think, that um, especially in the South, there's this large conversation in the Equal Justice Initiative with its monument in Montgomery really kind of brought it to public attention that we have all these lynchings of African-Americans, but it's, I think an important thing that you bring out too there is that it's not just African-Americans who are getting strung up. And in, in part, I'm kind of thinking that, do, how, do, how do we pay more attention to that? Um, how do we draw more public eye to that? It's, it's not just African-Americans who suffer here, but it's, it's minorities in general. Um, I mean, you, you said that record keeping is very bad. So how would we draw that out more with say monuments or initiatives? Yeah, a, a lot of historians, or I should say some historians are doing a really good job of trying to reconstruct this history in the West. And I think we, to, to your question, we need to understand um, you know, lynching in the West, lynching of say Mexican men, uh, lynching of Chinese immigrants and in, in, in the same narrative frame that we talk about lynching uh, of black people in the post-Civil War South. I mean, it's not to take away from that horrific history. We, there, there's more great work to be done there too, but we need to understand them as, you know, white supremacy is a national phenomenon, not, not, a, not a regional one. Um, uh, to the question about what, you know, what can we do to make this history known, there's a, I'm, I'm part of a group that's really pushing for a memorial to the victims of the Chinese massacre in LA of 1871. It's the 150th anniversary this year. Um, and aside from a, one plaque in Los Angeles, there's no sort of public acknowledgement of this history. Uh, what was, after all, one of the worst mass lynchings in American history uh, when uh, 19 Chinese immigrants were killed in one night in LA. Um, so finding ways to, to not only study this history on its own terms, but to bring it into conversation with what we know about racial violence in the South, I, I, I think there's a lot more work to be done. 